What is going on everyone? It is Nick here again at NJ's Bricks and today I'm going to bring you the Lego 2024 Christmas and Holiday Shopping Guide so you know you want to be the favorite friend and family member this holiday season. You don't really know what to get everybody. Well I'm going to tell you today something you can get for everyone from babies to boomers so you know that everyone's going to be happy this holiday season if you follow my guide. Remember to like and subscribe below if you guys enjoyed this video. I would really appreciate it. With all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, you've got a baby or toddler in your life. What do you get them for Christmas? Let's go with the Duplo Alphabet Truck Set 10421. It is a $40 set for 36 pieces. There's a few reasons I really like this set. It's, uh, it's a truck, so obviously they can drive it around. That's always fun. A couple little people to play with. And plenty of blocks that can just be used to build whatever it is they might think of. So it's great for, you know, uh, an older baby, very young toddler that maybe hasn't learned anything about spelling yet. But once they do start to learn what these letters are, the blocks gain some additional functionality. So I really like this set. It's fun to play with and it's functional. So if you just follow my thoughts on what sorts of goals you should be thinking about for these different demographics, then even if the sets that I suggest to you aren't perfect, you're going to be able to find one that works for you. Moving on, we got a young boy here, a gift to buy. Maybe it's a nephew or a child of your own or, uh, you know, anyone in your life that's a younger boy. They're going to want creative vehicles set 11036. It's a $55 set for 900 pieces, which is an excellent value. Most LEGO people will tell you you want to look for somewhere around 10 cents per part in the set for a reasonable value. Uh, anything over that's a bit on the expensive side. Anything under that is great. So 900 pieces for $55 is awesome. What I like most about this set is that it gives the child a bit of direction. Here, build some vehicles. Here's some tires. Here's some windscreens. Build some vehicles. But at the same time, it gives them a lot of extra bricks so they can use their creativity to build whatever they can think of. So I really enjoy, for younger kids, sets that give them a little bit of direction, but also ample creative freedom to make whatever they can think of. Maybe for an older uh, boy, a young, still a young boy, but someone that's a bit older and maybe a bit more specialized in their interests, I think the Mac LR electric garbage truck set 42167 is an excellent choice. It's 33 bucks for a 503 piece set. So they're going to get a pretty good amount of build time for $33. And it's pretty complicated compared to the basic bricks of the last set. A lot of technic elements in this one, but you also get some working play features like uh, a dump truck bed that actually dumps stuff out and things like that. So the young engineer in your life or uh, a little bit more technical child, this is going to be a great choice for them. Moving on to a couple of sets for younger girls or really anyone in your life that you think these will work for. You know, you can listen to my reasoning behind why I think these are good sets and see if they fit for your audience. Uh, looking here at the Disney Princess Creative Castles, this is set 43219. It's a $35 set with just 104 pieces, which is not the best value. But these Disney sets often carry a bit of a uh, licensing tax. They have to pay to license some of these intellectual properties. Not to mention that this set specifically has some of these larger molded plastic pieces, the turrets on the castles. That makes it a bit more expensive. The reason I like this set is a lot like the creative vehicles. It gives the child some direction. Here you're going to build a little uh, castle scape, a little diorama type thing. But it gives them some creative freedom in how they actually achieve that goal. So if you notice a theme here for younger children, I really love things that push them in a direction or towards a direction, but give them ample creative freedom. For an older girl here, I really like this Lego Creator 3-in-1 set, Adorable Dogs, 31137. It's a $30 set for 475 pieces, so a lot of value there. If you go back on my channel, you can see I did a video on this set actually, but you can build seven different dogs just from the pieces in this set, which gives a lot of value and build time for the kid. Anytime uh, you can get a three-in-one set that you think align with the interest for someone you're buying for, I think that's a great choice because they can take it apart and put it back together as something else. The other nice thing about this set is it comes with some accessories like dog toys, a bowl, a brush, so a child can actually role play and play with these puppies as well, which is an additional layer of fun and functionality. Moving on to boys age 10 plus, I really dig this Kawasaki Ninja H2R motorcycle. It is set 42170. It's a bit pricier. It's an $85 set for 643 pieces, but it's a really impressive show model. It's pretty fun to drive around and play with. And then the other thing that makes this such a winning set is the mechanical functionality of the Technic parts. I believe there's like a working gearbox and a four-cylinder engine and stuff going on here, which make it a joy to build and see work as it's finished. The young mechanical engineer in your life is going to be really stoked to get this set. 
For girls that are age 10 plus, a bit on the older side here, I really love this Ifaba and Glinda figure set 75682. It's a $55 set for 558 pieces, which is not so bad considering that it's licensed intellectual property. What I like about this set is it looks like there's a lot of fun and cool building techniques in there to achieve the shapes that are in these figures. And it also functions as a really nice display piece. So maybe you have a younger girl who's aged out a bit and is not necessarily doing as much doll playing or role playing with their toys, but they might like to have things like this still on display around their room to show off their interests. So I think that this set from the new Wicked line of Lego could be a really good hit for some of the younger girls that you might be buying for this holiday season. Next up, you want to buy a Lego set for a young adult in your life, someone, you know, in their 20s, maybe early 30s or so. You're not really sure what to get them. You know they're into Lego, but you're not sure what types of things they might be into. You want to get them something that's really cool and not too childish, but still looks cool and displays well. I would recommend the Great Deku Tree 2-in-1 set 77092. This is definitely an expensive set. It's $300 for a 20 500 piece set so i understand that this isn't going to work for all folks but the reason that i think this is such an excellent gift for the young adult this holiday season even if they're not a lego fan is that the legend of zelda has a really high approval rating amongst basically every demographic basically anyone that's between like 20 and 40 or 45 years old is gonna have played one of the zelda games at some point in their life and they probably enjoyed it. Everybody sort of has their Zelda game that they played when they were little that they identified with or remember. And this set has a couple of great minifigures. It looks awesome. You can change the leafing on the Deku Tree to fit the season. And I think that it's if you can afford it and if you know someone that might like Zelda even a little bit or like gaming at all, they're probably going to appreciate this set. I think it's a great choice for any young adult this holiday season. What about your significant other? You want to buy something for someone to show them you care this holiday season while giving a little bit of the flavor of your own hobby or maybe they're into Lego themselves? I recommend the Wildflower Bouquet. This is set 10313. It's a $60 set for 939 pieces. So we've got some really good value there. And it's just a great looking set. We own this and have it on display year round in our apartment. It adds a really nice pop of color wherever you may put it. We have it in a vase right now with some like clear beads at the bottom to set the flowers into and it looks really great there's a few other flower bouquet options available but i think this is the best looking one you can also accentuate it with individual flowers that they have of different types moving on to uh your dad your uncle maybe even your grandpa you got an older man in your life you want to get them something that's going to be fun and a bit whimsical it's something that's unexpected that they're not going to be thinking about but you know they're going to enjoy you got to pick up the jaws set for them this holiday season. This Jaws diorama set 21350. It is $150 for 1500 piece set. So not too bad though. It's definitely a price here gift, but they're definitely going to be surprised to get this one, especially if they're not actively a Lego builder, but you know, they maybe are into building models or woodworking, working with their hands of some type. They will probably appreciate building this one. And there's not too many movies that have a higher, again, approval rating amongst older males than Jaws. I mean, women love Jaws too, of course, but your dad, your uncle, your grandpa is going to be stoked to get their hands on this one and have something fun to build that's still a bit more adult-oriented or adult-advertised at least. And I think you're going to be the hit of the holiday season if you get the Jaws set for that person this year. What about your mom or your auntie or maybe even your grandma? What can you get for them? Well, I'm really digging on the Lego Botanical Almanac. This is a really pretty coffee table book that shows off all the different Lego botanical sets they've made and explains a bit about each of the flowers. And if your mom or this person that you're buying for is into building things or into working with their hands, then you could pair one of the botanical sets along with the book so they have something to build as well. But if you know they're not really going to be into the Lego building part, you could still get them this book and maybe merge your hobby of Lego with their hobby of botanicals, and that'll be a really nice combo gift to give. Moving on to grandma and grandpa, maybe they're not really into building and working with their fingers in the same way that you need to with Lego. Maybe they don't have the dexterity that they used to, but they still like working on something active that they can do with the rest of the family. If your grandma and grandpa are anything like mine, they're into puzzles, and I recommend the Pet Pals Puzzle this holiday season. It's $18. There's all these wonderful little Lego pet faces, dogs and cats and so forth. Who doesn't love pets? Everybody loves cute little pets. A lot of grandmas and grandpas are going to love having this puzzle out on the table for everybody to join together and work on something together and have a really nice family time. So definitely recommend the Pet Pals puzzle this holiday season. 
We've got a few more types of people that you may need to buy for in your life. What about the Star Wars fan? You got someone in your life, maybe they are or aren't into Lego, but you know they love Star Wars and you want to get them some kind of Lego to show that. I recommend the Millennium Falcon 75375. It's an $85 set for 921 pieces. A lot of little pieces in this one, but honestly, that's why I'm going to explain the appeal. There has been a ton of different versions of the Millennium Falcons over the year for Lego, and the most impressive one you've probably seen before is the UCS Falcon, which is like three feet long by two feet wide, and it's absolutely massive, maybe even bigger than that. Thousands of pieces. Beautiful, beautiful set, but who really has the space to display something like that? Especially if you live in an apartment or if you move frequently, it's really not tenable to have something that large. So I love these new micro scale ships that they've been putting out lately in the Star Wars line and uh, for other lines as well. I see the Helicarrier for the Marvel series, but it has a lot of fidelity and a lot of detail packed into something that is small and can display virtually anywhere on any shelf in your home. So I think this is an excellent gift for the Star Wars fan in your life this holiday season. What about a superhero fan? I'm actually going to recommend a set that I said I thought was a bit overpriced in a previous video. That's the Avengers Assemble Age of Ultron set 76291. It's a $100 set for 613 pieces, which is definitely on the pricey side. But there's a few reasons that I think this set can work for a superhero fan of basically all ages this holiday season. I think this one is a can't miss with any superhero fan for a few reasons. If you give it to someone older who's not likely to play with it, they're going to appreciate it because it contains all six of the original Avengers that got together in the first Avengers film in the MCU. So you've got Hulk, you've got Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. You've got uh, one of the bad guys here for Hydra. And it's a really cool display piece. There's a lot of angularity and a lot of action going on. So even when it's sitting on a shelf, it looks like there is a battle happening. Then for the younger crowd, they're going to love all the little minifigures to play with too, of course. But there's also some play features like stud shooters, a vehicle that comes off and actually rides around. So this works as a good display piece or a nice piece to play with if you give it to someone that's on the younger side. So I think this will be a hit with all superhero fans this holiday season. A couple of more quick honorable mentions for the superhero fans. They still have the collectible minifigure series, Marvel Series 2 out right now. It's five bucks a box to get one of these random minifigs. Grabbing a couple of those as stocking stuffers is a great idea. And an honorable mention as well for superhero fans. I never had seen this visual dictionary before, but it's a book about the history of Lego Marvel. That's really cool. It's 25 bucks. And that would be a nice gift for the Lego fan that you know is buying most of the sets they want. But maybe they're overlooking something like these books that can go along with them and give a lot of cool knowledge. You may have a big Disney super fan in your life. You want to pick them up something Lego this holiday season. Well, there's a new set that's come out recently called The Magic of Disney. Set 21352. It's a $100 set for 1,103 pieces. And it contains many great moments from the history of Disney animation. We've got some Lion King, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Encanto, I think, down here, um, Moana, Fantasia, Little Mermaid, you name it, there's a little reference to it in here somewhere, the big sorcerer Mickey overlooking everything, this is just a really cool display piece with some really lovely minifigures, would be a great addition for any Disney super fan this holiday season, whether they're a Lego fan or not. And a couple of more here left on the list this holiday season. You want to get some Lego for the non-Lego fan in your life. Someone that you think maybe would be open to the hobby but hasn't had that introductory set to get them into it. Um, likely someone older who thinks maybe Lego are not for adults or they're not cool enough for adults. I definitely recommend trying out this Polaroid One Step SX70 camera this holiday season. It's 21345. It's an $80 set for 516 pieces, which is a bit pricey. But I got to tell you, this one uses some really interesting build techniques to achieve these different angles and have some great fidelity to model this camera against the real thing. But the best part about it is it has this internal mechanism where you can insert these photo pieces that come with the set. Then when you click the shutter button, it pops the camera out with a very satisfying click in the same way the original camera did. This adds a great bit of nostalgia not just the look of the camera, but the functionality of it as well, and can be a great introductory set for the non-LEGO fan in your life to show them the types of sets they're missing out on. Last but not least, what do you get for the LEGO super fan in your life? The LEGO fan that is buying most of the sets that they want already, probably, or you know, maybe they're a little on the younger side and they love LEGO, but they might miss out on some of the cooler sets due to price or various other factors. I think you can't go wrong with the Lego Knights Castle set 10305. This is the most expensive set here on this list. It's $400 for 2,600 pieces. 
But if this is in your range this holiday season, this is going to be the ideal gift for the Lego super fan. For one, it's expensive. So there's a good chance that maybe they laid off buying this one. Or maybe if they're more into some of the other themes like Technic or superheroes or Marvel, Potter, all those types of things, Star Wars, they might be buying those sets and overlooking something like this. But this is a brilliant set. It is an updated take on the classic Lego Castle and Medieval series of sets. It comes with a bunch of wonderful minifigures that are updates on old versions. You can stage a lot of little scenes around this castle. The build quality looks excellent. It's a really great looking set. And it is an awesome update to a classic theme that Lego fans, old and young, are really going to appreciate if you get this for them this holiday season. We're going to hit you with a bonus round, a few rapid fire ones. Santa Claus, you want to get him something different than cookies because that's what everybody's doing. Well, here's a little in joke. You get him the gingerbread man plush for $27. So it's a cookie of a different kind. He can keep this one on him for the rest of the night riding alongside shotgun in the sleigh. He's going to have a fun time with the Lego plushie for the gingerbread man. For the engineer in your life, I really love this Planet Earth and Moon in Orbit set 42179, $75 set for 526 pieces, but the impressiveness is the engineering of this, all the different gear and ratio changes to make this thing work. So when you crank this down here, it's going to spin the Earth and Moon around the Sun, it's going to spin the Earth individually, it's going to revolve the Moon around the Earth, and then the Sun spins as well. And it's all sort of in line with the actual ratios of the way these things move with each other in the real world. So a very, very, very cool functioning piece of Lego right there that I think is going to work for a couple other people in your life as well. Great to sit on a school teacher's desk to uh, incite some interest in the engineering aspect and how it works from the other kids in the class. And also great if you happen to know any space fanatics. Maybe they're not into Lego, but they're definitely going to love this model because the functionality and watching it work is absolutely magical. Also, really, a couple more books to note. Digging on this Lego Space book here. It is $50, but it's a very nice coffee table book that shows off the history of the Lego Space Line from 1978 to 1992. A great choice for any space fanatic in your life. One other book I wanted to shed some light on is this In Focus book for $30. And it shows a lot of different Lego figures and Lego elements photographed in the real world and how the scale of Lego plays with the scale of the real world is really awesome. A lot of cool photos in this one that anybody can appreciate, Lego fan or not. Last but not least, what do you get yourself this holiday season? You know you want it. You've been looking at it since it was announced. The Lego Lord of the Rings Rivendell set 10316. It's 500 bucks. That's probably why you have been holding off on it. 3,250 pieces is going to take you forever to build. But I got to tell you, I got it on my shelf and it is absolutely glorious. It looks 100% as good as it does on the screen. The minifigures are magical. And if you've been holding off on this one, you should pat yourself on the back. Do yourself a little favor this holiday season. If you can afford it, pick up Rivendell. You've been waiting. Wait no longer buy this one or share this video to other people in your life and tell them to pay special attention to the last set that gets suggested in the video. Maybe you'll find a surprise under your tree this holiday season. Let me know in the comments below which Lego sets that you are hoping to get this holiday season, which ones are looking really cool to you that you put on your list for Santa. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, please like and subscribe to the channel, guys. It really means a lot to me to help the channel grow and to see those numbers go up. If you like this video, I really appreciate that. Always remember, guys, the holiday season is not about how much money you spend, but it's about the thought and giving something that you've actually put some effort into and as an expression of thanks to those around you, to your friends and your family. If you put some thought into it, you can find a Lego gift for 20 bucks or less that works for everyone, even if it's just a symbol book or a keychain or something along those lines. If you put a little thought into your target audience and you buy something you think fits for them, it doesn't matter how much you spent on it, they're going to appreciate that you were thinking about them. So thanks everyone. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a great holiday season and I'll see you next video.